Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another rewind plan with me. This week is for the first week of July, which also happens to be Canada Day on July 1st. So I'm going to be using a Canada themed kit here from Christine's Paper Studio. It is called Canadiana and I absolutely love this kit. Honestly, traditionally like Canada Day themed kits are just red and white all over. I love that this brings in a lot of those like Hudson's Bay Company colors and it's just so gorgeous. The gold foiling is beautiful with these really bold pops of color. So I'm so excited to use this kit. Oh, so gorgeous. This like mustard yellow is everything right now. I am on Christine's uh, PR team as well. So if you use code Laura30, you can save 30%, which is an absolutely phenomenal discount code. And I think her kits are really reasonably priced to start with. I mean, everything in her shop is pretty reasonably priced. So to have a 30% discount on top of that for such good quality stickers is like A+. I also picked up the deco sheet to go along with this kit so i'm gonna try and pull in some floral elements to go along with this i think it's just gonna make it look like extra special and fun and as i mentioned i do have a discount code with christine shop and with my code if you mention my name in the notes to seller you'll also get my freebie which we just kind of revamped my freebie and i love it so much these are some of my favorite elements from her shop so you've got some of her little like bow icon doodles here. We've got some like floral pieces, which are really, really pretty, and then some different divider options. So I'm a huge fan of my freebie, but of course, check out all of the other PR girls to see if you want their freebie instead. Um, but for now, I'm so excited. Let's get to laying down the base. looking so gorgeous. I always put a lot of pressure on myself. There's something about Christine's kits that I just really, really love. And I have high expectations and I just like want the spread to turn out so pretty. I mean, I always go in with that intention, but there is something about Christine's kits that just like kind of give me anxiety a little bit because I just want it to turn out so nice. Um, and so far I'm really, really happy. I did pull in some of these dividers along the top of all of my full boxes. Those are the same dividers Dividers that are on my freebie. These ones are just in gold, uh, whereas my freebie is in silver. So now that we have the base down, things are looking good. Let's start to add in the day by day. So first thing on Monday, I um, had worked out like seven days prior to this. So like all the week prior, I had worked out every single day. On Monday, my body was just like, it had enough. I was so incredibly sore this day. I think in particular, it was my legs that were just like not having it. So um, wanted to mark that in here. Normally I can kind of, you know, just power through it and it doesn't really affect me too much, but this day was pretty intense. I think I even ended up having to take um, some Tylenol. So I'm going to use one of Christine's little bow icons here to mark uh, just that my body was very sore this day. 
I did do a little bit of meal prepping on this day as well, and I ended up making chili. That is literally my go-to lunch almost every single day, I would say. Um, so I'm gonna use this box here. I think I was thinking about adding some of these little like floral elements as part of the spread. So I think I want to maybe utilize that in some way. This is my old freebie, but of course, like some of these elements are still a part of it. So let's pull that there. And then how cute is this from Crafts by Towie? I have these adorable apron stickers. So I'm going to use that just to mark that I made some chili that day. I also ended up doing some laundry this day as well. Just kind of getting myself organized for the week. I found like I used to do that on Sunday nights, like when I was still working in the office. But now that I'm home, I find like I really do use Monday as my get organized type of day versus Sunday. So I'm going to use this laundry machine from White Deer Stationery. And then maybe, I don't know, is that overkill? Like adding even more florals to this? I, don't know. I just really really love all of the different like foiled florals I think they're so pretty so let's do that for laundry I think I have a script here too yep yeah, from letters to Apollo I have a laundry script this is in her hot gold color or just like regular gold um, normally I stick to light gold but I think the um, hot gold actually goes better with this kit anyway that is a very foiled little area right there. And then also did dishes on this day. So I'm gonna use this blue quarter box here. So cute. I love the way that we have like different like notched corners as part of the boxes. I just love having different styles that aren't all just um, rectangles or like straight edges so I think that adds something just extra special and then I am going to bring in a little bit of this floral deco as well cute from white deer stationery I have these dishwashers which I feel like I should have switched these because this washing machine or dishwasher is facing the other way but no big deal and I think for this one I'm actually going to use this creamy yellow color just to have a little bit of variety and from SPC I have a do the dishes script which actually fits in that space so well all right, I had to do some repositioning, just moving things up a little bit because I wanted some space to mark that I did have to work on a pretty cool project this evening. Um, we're trying to do more like virtual events as a team and you know get to know each other. Um, we've onboarded a few new people at work, so it's hard to get to know each other in a virtual environment and actually like create relationships. So I was working on a project um, just to get to know the team a little bit better. So I actually got pretty sucked into it and ended up working on it pretty much all night. So kind of took a lot out of me, but it was really fun. And I enjoy that kind of stuff. Like if I have the information to work on a PowerPoint presentation, like I can honestly like spend hours just like formatting it and perfecting it. Like I love that stuff. So got pretty sucked into that and ended up working um, pretty late into the night. So that is it for Monday. Let's jump over to Tuesday. So first thing here on Tuesday, we actually ended up getting our engagement photos back. 
I mean, technically we got them back on Monday night at like 11 o'clock at night. So I didn't really check them out. I took like a quick look because I was just so excited to um, have the photos back. So I took a quick peek on Monday night, but I really took the chance to, um, you know, look through all of the photos on Tuesday morning. And I did post one photo on Instagram on my planning channel just in my stories i didn't actually like put it on my feed i know some people were asking um because i had mentioned it in a previous plan with me about posting it on my instagram but it was just in a story so it you know disappears after 24 hours or so um but yeah i was just so excited to see the photos and you know they turned out really well i think you know, we're our own worst critics, of course. So, you know, there's probably things that I would have liked to see that maybe were slightly different, but I think, you know, that's part of the fun of engagement photos too, is like, now I know my photographer really well and I kind of have some, you know, suggestions. <laughs> I sound like such a bridezilla, but um, I have some, you know, suggestions for how I want to change things for the wedding and just some some ideas of like, um, you know, how Mike and I photograph. I'm not like extremely photogenic, just to be honest with you all. Um, but I still enjoy photography and it's something I find to be really fun. So I think our, our wedding photos are like the real deal, but it was really such a fun experience to uh, get to do our engagement photos as well. So I'm going to mark that here with these champagne glasses. Those are also from way to your stationery. And I was just pulling in this like extra like floral piece. I thought it'd be fun just to add a little bit something extra to this box because I was so excited about our photos. I think I'll leave this extra piece out though. Cool. And then also on this day, um, we actually had the team meeting where, um, for the presentation that I had like built the night before, we actually got together as a team this day. So to mark the team activity, I have these really cute, um, they're virtual learning stickers from Dash of Sun Designs, but we use Microsoft Teams and literally that's exactly what it looks like. So I thought that was perfect to mark our virtual get to know you session. And I was a little, disappointed I'm not gonna lie but a few members of the team like some pretty key people didn't actually show up to the meeting which I found to be like kind of disrespectful and you know as I mentioned I put a lot of like time and effort into it so I was really hoping that everyone was gonna show up and participate and you know like I said it's hard to get people engaged in a virtual environment and then for people to just like not show up it kind of annoyed me um I get it though like we still have to work like we did the the time during like work hours so people didn't have to you know take it as part of their like work or personal life but the fact that people didn't show up I just like and didn't give me like a heads up about it either I felt a little like annoyed by it but whatever it's all good um so we've we're starting to like implement these on a monthly basis so hopefully people will continue to show up and it just doesn't like flounder out but all right so this day mike and i also started watching shameless season 11 which shameless is one of my I would say, honestly, it's like one of my all time favorite shows. So when I saw that season 11 was available, I like wanted to watch it immediately. We recently started Superstore and I was like, Superstore has to wait because I need to watch some Shameless. I'm gonna use one of these TV stickers from Crafts by Towie. It's kind of like an awkward, size. Um, I think they're like a little bit bigger than I originally anticipated they would be. So I do have a hard time like laying this down, but oh, well, we'll do it there for now. I wish I had like a square type box or something that I could like offset it with, but that's fine. And then I was wondering if I should pull in. No, that's okay. All right, so that is for Shameless season 11, which we've already finished Shameless and I was a little 
I don't know, the ending wasn't my favorite, but it felt very true to Shameless style. So anyway, it is what it is. I wish there was more. Honestly, I feel like that show could just go on forever and I would never get sick of it. But I guess it always has to end at some point. Then on this day, out of nowhere, a package that I thought had gone missing um, from Fantasy Wax, which I was so disappointed for because it was like an amazing package. It was like a pretty large order and it had been delayed for months. Obviously not uh, the shop owner's fault, but um, yeah, we just, you know, had been going back and forth and it felt like it was never going to arrive. And out of the blue, it arrived this day. And actually Kirsten, uh, the shop owner was so sweet and had resent the package to me because we thought it was lost. And then of course, the one that she resent arrived as well, which we thought that one was lost too because it wasn't moving. So, uh, what a roller coaster! but I'm so excited to have those orders. Let's see, what can I use here? I'm trying not to use yellow just because we have like the bottom washi here, this yellow box. Like I really want to pull in one of these, but I feel like it's just too much yellow. Maybe we'll go with this red one. Whoa, that's way too crooked. Yeah, sometimes like Canada Post or USPS, like whoever is shipping the items, like it can be such a roller coaster ride. And actually, um, Kirsten, the shop owner, had tried to put in like a claim for it just to see, like, you know, if we could get an update on what happened to it or whatever. And she found out like she couldn't do that for an international order, which is like so annoying and really, really frustrating. But anyway, it arrived all good. Everything was like perfectly fine too. Like you would think with you know wax coming through the mail especially in summertime like i was expecting like if it ever did arrive that things might be like leaking or just like not in a good shape when it arrived to me but everything was absolutely perfect like nothing was damaged everything was in there which was like another concern that i was having that you know maybe things would be missing from the order but everything was perfect so very thankful for awesome customer service that everything like went off without a hitch i mean i guess it took a really long time to get to me but totally understandable totally not the shop's fault so all good all right and that is it for tuesday kind of a a boring day i don't know the engagement photos was really the highlight of my day let's move over to wednesday so because this is the day before canada day we actually had a half day at work, which was amazing. I always love having that extra time off before a long weekend. And just the fact that Canada Day fell kind of midweek, I guess, on a Thursday, it was nice to have like an extra short week, like just two and a half days. Um, so I'm gonna mark that using a clock from Wait Dear Stationery. And then I do have a half day script from Letters to Apollo, which I think will fit in here quite nicely. That's perfect. And then I got some really, really wonderful news this day. Um, my boss messaged me on Teams and she was like, oh, do you have just a quick second to chat? And I was thinking like, oh man, on my half day, you're gonna like give me extra work or something to do. It's kind of funny see my attitude at work um but anyway so she messaged me and she's like you know just want to talk for a quick second so anyway I'm like yeah what's up she gives me a call and she told me I was being promoted to director which was just like the best news to get like right before the long weekend uh definitely made sure to celebrate it was oh just the best news I was over the moon um this promotion has been something that I've been working towards for a very long time um our previous director on the team actually 
um, left in 2019, I want to say. Um, and he was never replaced on the team. And so I've just kind of, you know, stepped up and, you know, took the position on and I've been fighting and proving myself for the past two years. And with COVID, unfortunately, there was a hiring freeze across my agency and that included um, things like promotions. So unfortunately, it didn't come to life for me last year. But, you know, my boss, she continued to fight for me as well. And yeah, so it came through on this day. And honestly, like I couldn't have been happier. It was just like the best, the best news to get right before the long weekend. I wanted to like make this extra special and bring in some foil, but I'm not really liking the way that that looks. So I'm just going to leave it um, like that for now. Um, also on this day, I did get my second dose of the vaccine. So I think we'll use maybe just a flag to mark that. I did get Pfizer for my first vaccine, um, but this time I think there's been like a shortage of Pfizer maybe in Ontario. So they are saving all of the Pfizer vaccine for people who are under the age of 18. So I ended up getting Moderna this time, which was totally fine. I just wanted to have my vaccine. So got that on Wednesday and then it was also payday this day. So I feel like I should mark that in here. So to mark payday, I'm just gonna bring in a label beautiful. You can tell this spread is going to have a lot of white deer stationery, but I just love her doodles so much. I'm going to use this little coin purse to mark payday. And then from the Christine's Paper Studio uh, script sampler, there is a payday on here. So I'll, I'll pull that in. I really, really love this font that she uses. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a really pretty handwriting, which I think is gorgeous. I don't know, it just doesn't seem very like pretentious. Like it's a very approachable font, I would say. So gorgeous. And then every time I get paid, I always like to do my budgeting right off the start, just so that I have, or I know how much money I have to spend on stickers. So let's do another white deer stationery. Um, but this is the piggy bank, which is so cute. I think I'm just gonna put this large like floral piece here. I don't know, I'm not in the mood to put another box and make the space like too boxy. So we'll just pull that in. Oh, I guess I should have done it on the other side. Let's flip that over. I would say that um, Christine's paper does lift up really nicely. You just have to kind of go slow with it. And once it's stuck down, it's pretty down there. But if you do it right away, I think you'll be fine. All right, so that is for budgeting. And then I'm just gonna finish off the column with another divider here. This is again from my old sampler, but I do have silver ones on my new one. So just to kind of finish the column. All right, and that is the first half of the week. So looking awesome so far. And then for Thursday, this is July 1st, which is Canada Day. So I wanna mark this kind of special. So I'm gonna pull in one of the scallops from the kit and just put that up here along the top. And then this is pretty old, but from Murdoch Talks, it looks like this must have been in one of the advents because it says day eight. So I'm assuming it was part of a 12 days of stickers. I just don't remember which one, maybe two years ago or something. Um, but we have some holiday scripts and I love that this includes Happy Canada Day um, because obviously you don't usually get Canada Day within holiday scripts. So that's wonderful, love that. It doesn't fit in that space the greatest, but I think it's all good. And then, um, oh, I do have these little floral pieces too. I guess I could have cut those up and added it in, but all good. I was gonna put too, like, hello July, um, since it is July 1st this day, but I feel like that's kind of 
a lot in that area. So I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Um, I did have the day off this day as well, since it is like a national holiday. Um, I don't think I'm going to put that in. I did have a pretty sore arm this day, which I didn't have any side effects when I got my first dose of the vaccine, but this one hit me a little bit harder, which I've heard that the second dose can do that. Um, so I expected it somewhat. Um, but I did have to end up like taking some Tylenol. It was more so for me anyway. Um, my symptoms were more so that I just like my arm was really sore and uh, I just felt really tired and kind of lethargic. That's all. Um, honestly though, it lasted that day and then it, that was it. Uh, by Friday, I was 100% back to normal, totally fine. Um, I did go with Mike this day um, to get his second dose as well. I guess I could play. I could mark Mike's second dose there instead of marking that my arm was sore. Anyway, um, this day we did end up getting takeout as well. I just didn't feel like cooking when I'm not like feeling well. So, um, let's see. I have these from White Deer Stationery to mark takeout, which I think are really cute. And then maybe I'll do some more deco. Oh, I could pull in another box. Let's do this one here. trying to think of what we got this day. I didn't write it down. I have a feeling more likely than not we got McDonald's um, or Greek food. That's kind of like our go-to faves right now. But I have a feeling, especially if I was under the weather slightly, I probably got McDonald's. And then for the rest of the evening, like I said, I wasn't feeling the greatest. So I ended up just um, doing a lot of reading this night. I didn't even want to watch TV. I was literally just in the mood to curl up on the couch with a good book. I ended up finishing the book that I was reading at the time. Um, can't remember. Oh, it was called Love the One You're With, um, which was really good. That was one of my um, like one of the better Emily Giffen books that I've read recently. I've been rereading all of her novels and this one I actually really enjoyed. I hadn't read it before, so it was a nice change um, versus some of the ones that I've been like reading multiple times. I've been realizing they're not as great, you know, the third or fourth time that you've read them. So anyway, but Love the One You're With ended up being like quite a good book. So I have this read script here that is from Murdoch Talks and then the little book icon is also from Christine's Paper Studio. And then I feel like I want to pull in something nice along the bottom. I do have these um, pen flourishes from Alyssa's Craft Shop. I think that will go really nicely in this space. Cute. All right, so that was everything for Canada Day. Didn't go to fireworks, didn't do anything like that. Just a pretty boring day at home. So for Friday, my company actually gave us all the day off this day, which was wonderful. It was nice because it would have been weird to like just go back to work for the one day, like just the Friday. Um, but they ended up giving it to us as a mental health day, which I thought was you know, really considerate and actually really needed. So I certainly appreciated that. And it gave us just like an extra long weekend, which is always great. So that day off script is from Letters to Apollo. All right. And then, oh, I forgot about this. I ended up going for a massage this day, which it had been forever since I've gotten a massage and I was so looking forward to this like 
you have no idea. Massages are one of my like favorite things in the whole world. I absolutely love being touched. That is like one of my things. So I was really, really, really looking forward to this massage. And actually I haven't gotten a massage since like COVID has happened. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. And wow, it was way different than any massage that I had ever received before. Um, first off, the girl wore gloves, which I don't know, like it just didn't feel the same without that like skin on skin contact. Like, I guess it's like, it must be a safety reason, but it just, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of the gloves for starters. And then the girl that I had talked the entire time and when i go for massages i'm going there for relaxation i don't have like sore issues like i don't have back issues or neck issues or anything i am purely going there just to relax and so the fact that um yeah i went there and it was not like that at all and she's talking to me about work um, she's talking to me about wedding planning, literally everything that stresses me out. <laughs> it was like terrible. The only thing I will say is that I had booked an hour massage and she ended up um, like, I don't know if she was just like talking and la lost track of time, but she ended up giving me a 90 minute massage, which is like, I don't know, like heaven for me. So I loved that aspect of it. But the talking I could definitely do without. And it's no offense to her at all. It's not personal. It's just like when I'm in there getting a massage, I just don't want to talk. That's like not what I'm there for. So I never said to her like, hey, can you not talk? Because I just felt like that would be rude. Um, you know, maybe next time if it happens, I'll say something, but it did ruin it slightly for me. But then the fact that she went like an extra 30 minutes, it's like, okay, I can't complain. So anyway, that was my massage experience. It's also kind of weird um, wearing a mask the whole time. Like, especially when you're face down on that table, like at some points I was like, I feel like I can't breathe. Like I'm so um like covered up in my face anyway after that I did come home and I did a little bit of filming I can't remember what I was filming this day it just seems so long ago after that I did go out for drinks with one of my friends she wanted to celebrate my promotion so she ended up taking me out for dinner uh, and drinks which is like so sweet of her she didn't have to do that um but we ended up having like a really really good girls night and a really good talk which I didn't realize how much I genuinely needed that um you know, you guys know I've been on like a weight loss journey and, you know, going through some things uh, with wedding planning and all of that. It just like builds up a lot of stress. And I didn't realize like I tend to keep a lot of those things inside. Um, actually, I feel like, you know, I use my plan with me sometimes as like a resource to like get all my feelings and emotions out there. Um, but it had been a really long time since I had someone talk back to me about it and, you know, really reciprocate in that way. And it just felt amazing and just so appreciated. And uh, it just gave me like a new appreciation for my friends too. Like I, it just, it felt amazing. So I do have this girls night sticker here from Murdoch Talks. Definitely laid that down quite crooked, but all good. I'm not going to try and lift that out because I know I will massacre that script. And then I did finish off the night just by doing some reading when I got home. Obviously, we weren't out all hours of the night. Um, so let's see. Where did I put? Oh, I only had one of those book stickers, but I do have these from Sadie stickers, which I think I can pull in here. I think I like this box with the scalloped edge here. So we'll do this for reading. 
after I finished Love the One You're With, I started reading a book called Heart of the Matter, which again is an Emily Giffen novel. Um, it's actually one of my uh, favorite ones as well. So I'm gonna use this sticker here just to mark reading. Actually, do I have a script still handy? My planning desk literally becomes such a mess. I need to figure out like a more organized way uh, of filming. I do pull my stickers ahead of time, or at least I try to the best that I can. But sometimes like I have a hard time, like once I'm filming, like everything just ends up everywhere. All right, so that is it for Friday. So first thing on Saturday, we ended up just going out and doing our groceries first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna mark that right up here at the top. And from White Deer Stationery, I do have these shopping carts. Cute. And from Letters to Apollo, I have a grocery shopping script, which I think I'm gonna cut just to make sure that it fits in the space better. And Daisy did have to take her flea medication this day. She has to take it once a month. So the third is her date for her medication. And I think we'll do, I like these little corner scallops. there's that and then I have these adorable little paw print stickers which I thought was perfect for marking her medication and this red I don't I mean it kind of matches so we'll do that there so that is her flea medication and then I did film this day and I put my plan with me live so I think I'll mark making the video live that was probably the last time before this week that I had um, a video go live, which just feels like so long ago at this point. Um, whoops. I guess that explains why I'm so rusty when it comes to planning right now. And I am going to be pulling in one of these stickers from Tassel Planner. I Ugh, I miss her shop so much. These stickers are adorable. Let's do this yellow color, which I feel like I probably don't use very often. So we'll do that. And then from Planner Just For You, which I do have a coupon code for her shop. So make sure you check out the description below. All of my coupon codes will be listed there as, long, or as well as um, like referral links and stuff too. So you wanna save some money, check that out. And then after I filmed, Mike and I ended up going for a two hour walk with Daisy, which was so nice to get outside and like enjoy some fresh air. And we actually ended up walking um, to an area of town that like neither of us was like all that familiar with. And we ended up seeing these new condo buildings, which we both really, really liked. So we've been thinking more about like moving out. Um, originally, we were thinking about moving out of Toronto, especially if my job stays like working from home. It might be nice to not be in the city anymore. And it also might be cheaper if we moved out of the city. So just something that we've been contemplating. And when we saw these condos, it just like really kind of motivated us a little bit more to, you know, talk about moving and, and putting that into consideration. Of course, I, I still need to see what my work um, ends up doing. And because that isn't finalized, I'm not ready to commit to moving out of the city. But it's nice to still like talk about it and think about like what it could potentially be. Um, so it was nice to go on that little walk and discover this new, you know, potential area for us. And I ended up looking up the condos afterwards just to see like price range. And it's completely in the range of what we want to spend. So 
I'm pretty I'm pretty optimistic about this area and this like neighborhood so I will definitely keep you guys posted if anything comes out of that and then to finish up the night Mike and I just watched a little bit of Shameless I think we probably watched maybe a couple episodes so I'm going to pull in one of these from Crafts by Towie. It's just the little chair with the popcorn on it. I feel like I should pull in another floral piece here. So I'm just going to cut it because both of these, or sorry, all three of these are quite large. So this will just help um, spread the florals out a little bit and hopefully look a little bit more balanced because of course this sticker isn't massive. So. There we go. Cute. All right, and then hopping over to Sunday here. This day was pretty exciting. Mike and I finalized our um, ceremony script this day, which I feel like we're getting into the, the part now of wedding planning where we're doing like all of the really fine detail stuff. And I thought the detail stuff, honestly, it was going to be the part that I disliked the most, but it actually was like so much fun going through the script. Um, the way that our officiant works is like she gave us like tons of examples of different like script options. So whether you wanted to be, you know, religious or just whatever, um, you had that option to choose the, the script that suited you. And honestly, like it, everything could be different. The readings, the vows, the, um, everything it was all different and we really got to personalize it to like what we care about and what we wanted to say to each other so i loved it it was really fun going through it with mike too and like seeing how similar we are and everything that we wanted and everything that we picked it was kind of funny so we finalized the script this day. We sent it over to the officiant and now she's just like gonna compile it and send it back to us. So pretty exciting stuff. I think I don't have a ton to like mark on Sunday. It was kind of another uh, boring day just cause I knew, you know, going back to work on Monday. So I think I'm just gonna pull in maybe like some more florals. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Put that there and maybe add like some of these deco pieces too, just to like fill up the space. No, I don't like that. Hmm. All right. I'm going to have to think about this space. I don't know what I want to do with it. I'm like not, not sold on the foiled floral piece right there though. All right. So let's think about that one. We did take another walk with Daisy this day, not a two hour walk, just a little, um, I mean, it was probably like 45 minutes. So, oh, I don't wanna use blue cause it's literally right next to it. Let's do, let's do this one instead. Can this fit up here? Yeah. Hmm. Just trying to decide which one I like better up here. I think I like the plain one. I think the other one just kind of like competes with it a little bit too much. So we'll put that right there for going for a walk. I feel like I should use these little boots here. Actually, you know what? That's kind of fun. I will pull those in instead. I had a shoe sticker, but I kind of like the idea of using the deco from the kit itself. And then I do have a walk script. These are from Murdoch Talks. Perfect. Then to finish the night, I ended up doing laundry again this night. Oh, why do I keep trying to put blue like right next to blue? Um, let's do the yellow. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna do this striped one here instead for laundry. So crooked all the time. I think that's better. I don't know if it's just like the lines on the boxes are like throwing me off, but I feel like nothing is straight today. 
And I have this little laundry machine that is from Scribble Prince Co. And then a really beautiful laundry time script from Planner Just For You. This is in Sherry from Planning Peeps Handwriting. And oh, I live for her handwriting. Such goals. And then after laundry, normally on Sunday nights, I pretty much always watch 90 Day Fiance. But um, I think it was like a rerun. Oh, I think because it was Independence Day. Um, they were just running a rerun on Sunday. So there was nothing on. So I decided just to read some more and I ended up like reading literally all night long I think it was like midnight when I finally uh put I want to say my book down but I'm reading on my phone um because I just like borrowed um the book from our local library so I just have it on my phone right now so anyway um I don't really know when I shut my phone off it was midnight I don't really know how to say it but anyway, I'm going to use this floral piece maybe along the bottom here. And then I have a little candle. This is from Tasseled Planner. Fortunately, her shop is no longer open, so I apologize. And then I have a book sticker here from Murdoch Talks, like from a sampler. I was going to put it like next to this. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And then we'll put read right here. Kind of similar to the way that I did it on this side. I like the way the way, or sorry, the way that one looks better. So let's see, can I do maybe another one of these squiggles, or sorry, pen flourishes will help fill this space a little bit better on this side too. All right, I lifted up the read script. It just didn't like fit in the space as nicely. So I'm going to put the pen flourish here. And then I think I'm just gonna like write in the title of the book because I feel like it'll take up space a little bit better. Unless, oh, I'm so indecisive here. Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, cool. There we go. That is the spread. Let's fill everything out and then I will be back to wrap up this video. I feel like this is probably a long one. I feel like I haven't stopped talking. So, all right, let's go fill it out. My phone is on the brink of dying, so I'm going to have to keep this really short and sweet. This is the spread in full. These punches of color with the red, the yellow, the blue, it is absolutely phenomenal. This is unlike any spread I have ever done before and I think it turned out so gorgeous. I'm incredibly happy with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely a very chatty one, um, but lots of exciting stuff coming up, lots to talk to you guys about. So I hope that you're ready. There will be more videos coming this week. Please leave me a comment Comment down below let me know how you're doing and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Christine's paper studio again my code is Laura 30 and you can mention my name in the notes to seller to get my freebie so I will talk to you all very soon bye